You're looking at Sony's Crystal LED. This is a modular system over there on the lower right side. You'll see a little painted square on the wall. That is the size of the individual panels. This panel is made up of 72 independent uh, modules. It's nine feet tall by 16 feet wide, so it's, uh, it's normal aspect ratio. It is a 4K display in terms of pixels. Um, with the Crystal LED technology, uh, the, the Crystal LED, the actual, uh, pic, the actual pixel is the thickness of a human hair. And so about 99% of that screen is black space. So on a performance level, the bottom end brightness is 0 0.005 nits. And on the top end, it's 1,000. And unlike a conventional television where you measure peak brightness on a 10% window, if you put a white screen up there, it's 1,000 nits across the entire thing, and it's absolutely blinding. Wow. Uh, so, so this has been commercially available uh, for about three years. Uh, we announced at CEDIA 2019 a few months ago that it was now available for consumers. So, Brian, if you want this, this can be installed in your house for just under a million dollars. Okay, so um, this is going out to my wife right now. I know what I want for my birthday in April. If we start saving now, maybe we can make this happen. I noticed you didn't say April of what year. Well, yeah, yeah, for my 100th birthday. Um, by then, the technology will probably cost like a dollar. It might. Uh, there's a long way to go for that, but, it, it's, but it's completely modular. Uh, so actually the largest installation that we currently have is at the Shiseido uh, Cosmetic Company in Tokyo. Their display is 18 feet, so it's twice as tall, and it's 64 feet wide, so it's four wow. times the width. And it's in their lobby, and it just shows beautiful things. Um, one of the things that we're starting to do with this um, is we're starting to use this as a check in post-production. So if you've done any sort of film or TV work, you might be familiar with Sony's BVM X300. Uh, another Academy Award winning product. Um, and it's a color and grading monitor. Um, it's OLED, but it's only 30 inches in diameter. So it's very difficult in very complex scenes to get close enough to see a lot of detail. So they'll do the work on the grading monitor and then they'll put it up on a display of that size because now you can see everything 50 times larger. And it's much easier to see that the, the color and the contrast are correct. You didn't miss something in the CGI that all of a sudden becomes blazingly apparent because now it's on a theater sized screen. Wow. This is incredible looking. I mean, and you can't even tell that it's made up of panels. I mean, it looks like a single seamless uh, display. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very different than the kinds of things you typically see at like a sporting event where you can see the different modules together and, and there's a lot of black space. This is, this is a completely seamless picture. Um, it's actually laser aligned. It took these guys about three days to assemble this. Um, but it, obviously you can, you can see it's precision. Uh, it's, the same, it's obviously the same display that we use in the back of the Ghostbusters. So that's right. the this same technology. Um, yeah, so we're pretty excited about it. Um, it offers a lot of opportunities uh, on the professional market, the commercial market, and then we hope someday on the consumer market because you get all of the contrast benefits of, of an OLED type television with the brightness benefits of an LCD. It even has a 180 degree viewing angle. So if you walk all the way to the side, there's no color shift or fade. That's incredible. Uh, looks fantastic. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it looks fantastic. I don't even know what else to say.